Or I'm looking at the calendar here. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm doing something. It's important. Okay, 2017. March of 2017. Friday. March 24th, 2017. I'm in the lobby of a alleged mental health provider in Houston, Texas. Then they take me through a door into another room. CNN is on. And they're discussing how right then the Republicans have called a meeting with the President of the United States to discuss a measure that is going on at the moment to cancel the Affordable Care Act. The Republicans are meeting with the President of the United States to discuss canceling the Affordable Care Act. That there's already some process going on that could have potentially resulted in a congressional action supported by the president or presidential action supported by congressional Republicans and senatorial Republicans. I think they said it was the congressional Republicans to cancel the Affordable Care Act. I'm in there. For a short period of time, I'd been in the lobby for a couple of hours going through a complete misrepresentation of what was legitimate process for uh, uh, admitting me, having at least by that time three different people presumably trying to treat me for some sort of mental situation and refusing to take information on how I'd been witness to child abuse and acts of fraud involving the people that said that I was required to go there to seek uh, mental health ops, uh, analysis. They didn't do anything close to what was legally required for them to even send me into that next room where they had CNN playing. There were video, there were game shows. Game shows in the lobby before you got through that door. But once you got through that door, they had CNN. And it was all walled off and there were video cameras. And right as the nurse went to give me my medication, it was announced. The president has withdrawn his situation. They will not be making the vote at this time. And I spent the next 10 days being tortured electronically and bearing witness to the most egregious violations of anything that would be considered appropriate health care treatment. That's exactly when you invited me in. And the problem is you have nothing close to hospitality and you have nothing close to anything that would resemble a concept of how to regard a colleague. You understand? I have been in your party, in your business, and apparently at that level since March 24th of 2017 formally. So let's just get this straight. It's my fault. I haven't acknowledged it on this level. I haven't acknowledged it this forthrightly. My name is Charity Colleen Kraus. You apparently invited me in a very special manner into the politics of the Republican Party, as well as what was going on at the White House level on the afternoon of March 24th, 2017. It's been over three years, just so you know. Not one of you has responded any time I have showed up in person to attempt to file a report, including one connected to national security related matters, or when I've contacted an agency, including a federal agency responsible for policy concerning the handling of uh, biological, radiological, or chemical weapons. That's the level it's at, guys. You were the ones that brought me in. You're also the ones that have completely shirked anything close to your duty that responsibly handle the fact that you did what you did. So let's stop playing these games. I don't want to hear anymore about what the Democrats are doing in their little porno sessions in the basements anymore. Let's be direct and honest about this. Whatever accusations there might be about or involving them, I already know. I knew before you invited me in. So why are you pretending like this is something other than what it is.